Guys, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by again. So today, I was, I'm was i out in my garage. I was uh, giving my car a yearly buff and wax. And I figure I'd make a video about what people don't talk a lot about on YouTube. And is the best watch for the blue collar man. So if you're like me and you work out on the field and you have a dirty job where a watch won't stand a lot. Or you need a rough, rugged uh, watch. Your best, your best watch is going to be a G-Shock if you want, if you want a new watch. But if you want to wear always vintage watches like I do, so these are some of my choices. The best beater of beaters, the Casio um, quartz watch. This watch, I love it because it has the in the glow function. I know Timex has in the glow function too. I like those too, and but this one here, I like it. It's easy to read. It pops at you. What that's uh, something the G Shock doesn't do. G Shock is some sometimes obscured and blackish when you try to see the time. So I like this Casio right here because it's it's instantaneous. It gives you the date, date, the time. So um, it's a good watch for the blue collar man. Any any kind of uh, of old. I just put a battery in this one here. Any kind of old. LCD LED watch is really good, but the king of all vintage working class watches is the Timex. You can't beat a Timex. Timex, it's the foundation of our country. So I don't care what country you're in, if you're in Switzerland, if you're in uh, uh, America, if you're in, in some part of Asia, Europe, this is the watch that built our country. So there is nothing better than uh, wearing a nice old vintage Timex. A lot of these are, um, a lot of these were made in, uh, they're all made in Taiwan, but they were cased in Great Britain. So these are great watches too. Can't forget the old calculator watches if you're into 80s, uh, 80s geeky watches. Now, I'm going to show you guys a watch I absolutely like, especially if you don't like putting your watch on time. Radio controlled watch. This is an old E. Howard. I'm guessing from the late 80s, early 90s. And it's a radio controlled. So that means when the government decides when to change the time, it changes with it. You don't have to worry about it. It's just there for when you need it. It has multi functions. It's going to have your date, your date. I have it on the seconds right now. So it is just a great watch to have if you don't. If you don't like tinkering with it and uh, changing the time constantly. These are the best watches you could have for a blue collar man. Now, um, Seikos, I know Seikos are good, but sometimes they're big and bulky. Like if you're a car mechanic, if you're an electrician, if you're if you're sticking your hand somewhere where it could get caught on the way out, you're going to want to wear something thin. These watches are nice, thin, and close to the wrist, as well as these other uh, Timex. They, they, they'll rarely get stuck on anything so these are good watches for the blue collar man and but my favorite can't deny it that's a good work watch so guys what do you think and um and let me know in the comments below i know g-shock is going to be the favorite of a lot of you guys i know the new timex with the end glow those are great too i just didn't have one to put here on the put here on this uh batch of watches so so there you go. So guys, I'm going to get back to work. Like I said, I'm buffing my car, giving it its yearly wax. And how about I give you a picture when I'm done with it? Oh, look at that. That's high tech right there, parking sensor. You can't beat it. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'm going to get back to work. Three hours of work and she's done. <laughs>